Hi folks, it's good to be back in uh, Jackson Christian area and we just uh, been out in Phoenix for a while for a few weeks and we came back early actually. It's warm weather out there and love the warm weather but there are warm hearts back here and we miss the staff and the students so we said well we've, we've got to get back and get going and being an old guy I was kind of concerned coming back. I thought no, uh, you know, how, how's it going to be with the kids? Are they going to remember me? Are they going to welcome me? And it was great the first five minutes in the school they were it was wonderful this family here that's one of the great things and uh i i just enjoy it thoroughly we i have a few experiences i'd like to share with you first of all we went to a church we went to three different churches in phoenix just to visit see what different churches are doing one of the pastors who's very conservative but uh he's also very outgoing he reaches the community wonderfully they 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 have a ministry to street people they have a ministry to prisoners they have uh, and they come into their church and their church welcomes them can you imagine that and then they have a ministry to the kids that the parents put the kids on the street to earn money with their bodies and uh that's that's a heartbreaking ministry but it happens but anyhow, this pastor made a statement. He says, you know, I've been saying that we live in a post-Christian culture for some time. But he said, that's wrong. We live in a pagan world right now. We live in a pagan culture. And I've been rolling that over in my mind thinking about that. And that's very, very true. And we're trying to equip kids here. We have been for a number of years. Equip our kids to uh, impact the world for Jesus Christ. And the culture is making it more and more difficult to do that. But on the other hand, light shines brightest in the darkness. So uh, we want our kids to be salt and light when they go out. So we're trying to equip them here. And it's a really protected environment. And I saw that. Two of my daughters out in, in, in Phoenix uh, teaching schools. And the stories they tell me are horrifying. And uh, they, they're both uh, discouraged. They don't know what to do about it, but they give it their best shot. And I encourage them, to, I, that's where God's called them, so I encourage them to, to try to do their best with what, what they can do. But the laws that the government are passing today and things that they're enacting, making and make uh, living pretty difficult, changing our culture rapidly. But any, at any rate, in this school, sometimes our kids say it's so safe here, which it is and which we want it to be, it's uh, so kind here. It doesn't really equip us to, to get out there in the world. And uh, one of our parents approached me recently, just in the last few days since we've been back, and said, you know, my daughter, when she graduated, thought this school was kind of too safe and, and too comfortable, and it didn't teach her how to ma meet the world out there. And recently, her daughter's come to her and said, Mom, I thank you and Dad for spending the money, taking the time, making the sacrifices to send me to that school. She, she is now working in a school herself, and she has discovered that uh, what we do here is like a, like a greenhouse. And we take these little fragile plants and we grow them and they take root and get firm, and then we plant them out in the world when they're ready, after they graduate. And what we're finding is that initial shock of the world, the culture out there rattles them a little bit. But they take root, and they blossom, and they shine, and they bear fruit. That's what Jesus has created us for. So what you're doing is a good thing. What this school is doing is a good thing. There's just warmth, and there's love, and there's hope, and there's all of these good godly qualities instilled into our children. And the joy that I have is uh, I'm not on a, on a front line basis with the kids anymore, but just greeting them in the halls and seeing them around in the community. And the joy I have with these kids is just uh, watching them grow and watching them prosper. Another joy I have is when we got back, is some of our kids email us. None of them text me because they know that I don't know anything about that. Uh, I think my wife is going to put on my tombstone. He never learned how to text, but uh, that's a joke we have around our house. But uh, another thing, we've had kids come over and visit us and call us. Alumni. And it's such a family, such a tightness here. And I'm not the only one. Teachers up and down the hall can tell you the same things. So we're trying to instill in your children that you've entrusted to us. We, we realize that the kids need a good, strong home. They need a good, strong church. And they need a good, strong Christian school. And we're trying to instill in these kids the love for Jesus and the love for each other. And go out there and be salt and light. Take root 
and let Jesus work in you and through you and make you very prosperous in your lifetime. Thanks for the privilege. Thanks for letting us have your children for a few hours each day. And thanks for your input into their lives and our lives. And we give him the praise. And bless you. See you soon.